So continuing on with the Chapter 6 Excel tutorial, it's time to start 6.2, the binomial distribution. Dun dun dun. Alright, so we are going to be working on 6.2, number 29, which is right here. And there's a whole host of instructions. It says to construct a binomial probability distribution with the given parameters, compute the mean and the standard deviation using the method of 6.1, what we just did a tutorial on, compute the mean and standard deviation using the methods of this section, and draw a probability histogram. Boy, they don't want much. Okay. So let's begin. So oh, I forgot to notice n is 6 and p is 0 0.3 for us. Okay. <sighs> let's start. x. p of x. Okay, x is our random variable, p of x is the probability. The lowest random variable could ever be is 0, right? If it's a discrete probability distribution, which this is, then the least amount of successes you could ever have is none. Since n is 6, the highest amount you could ever have is 6. I mean, think of, think of the binomial distribution, for example, like free throws. If you were going to try to make 6 free throws, the fewest you could make is 0, the highest you could make is 6. And, of course, the probability must be independent for every single one of them. All right, now, we need to find the probabilities for each of these. And the way to do that is equals binome, there it is, binome dist. Let me double click on that. Now, it wants the number s, that's the number of successes. Well, the number of successes is right here in cell A2. So I'm going to click on A2, comma, the number of trials, well in this case that's 6, it's whatever your n is. The probability of success, which was 0 0.3, so every time I go up to the free throw line, for example, I have a 0.3% chance of making it. And then cumulative, now cumulative is saying, do you want it to cumulate these probabilities, right? Um, which we learned about in section 2.3. So if you go back and look at the tutorial, then we, we did cumulative frequency and cumulative relative frequency, which is what this would be doing in this case. But in our example, we're going to say false. It's a true or false question. So it's either going to be false or true. Um, for us, it's false. Close your parentheses, press enter. All right, right here, the chances that you make no free throws at all is 0.1176. Let me get to the handle right here in the bottom right. I'm going to drag it down. There you go. I now have all the probabilities. So for example, if you were the type of person that every time you go to the free throw line, regardless of whether it's their first time or the fifth time or whatever, you always have a 30% chance of making it, then let's see, what are the chances you're going to make four out of six tries? 0 0.0595. That's the probability. What's the chances you're going to make two tries? 0.324. Right. Every time you go to the free through line, it's separate. All right, I'm going to bold these because I like them bold. All right, there we go. So part A is done. Part B, compute the mean and the standard deviation. All right, well, we just did it, but let me find it again. You're going to need a sum column. So you want to find the sum, excuse me, a sum cell. Oopsie, I forgot my parentheses. That's okay, sum parentheses. There we go. Enter. There, it should be 1 if you did it right. Then you need x times p of x. So 0 times a2 times b2, and so on. Drag. Then you need the, the awful formula that we all hate. Mean, right, squared times p of x. Okay, oops. So we're going to have to find the mean first. That's The mean is the sum of this column. Let me find the sum of this column. Okay, parentheses. Oops, equals parentheses x, which is a2, minus the mean, which is c9. Give it dollar signs. Close parentheses. Squared times the probability, which is b2. Enter. Drag. Okay, here's the mean right here, 1.8. And then over here, let me drag this formula over. Oops, there's the variance, which they didn't ask for, but you have to find it anyway. And the standard deviation is, of course, the square root of the variance. All right, there it is. I'm going to highlight them and make them bold.